All right, it is Terramana Tuesday, right in the middle of summer, and I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day out here. I hope it's beautiful where you guys are at. I'm gonna make a brand new drink for you guys. It is gonna be another drink of the summer, brought to you by Terramana. It is gonna be the Terramana Strawberry Monarita, the delicious, smooth, Strawberry Monarita. But before we get the show on the road, I just have to take a moment and send my, uh, from deep in my bones, a very heartfelt gratitude, heartfelt uh, uh, thank you uh, to you guys uh, for making our Terramana. Truly, our Terramana has become the most exciting tequila in the marketplace. It, it is the, the fastest selling tequila in the marketplace. And so far, uh, you know, what a blessing to have this problem. We have one problem, one complaint from you guys, which has been, it's sold out everywhere you go. And uh, there's, a, there's a little bit of a wait time for it. And I just want to say, guys, it is sold out everywhere you go. Uh, and I've been seeing thousands of your comments. My team, too, as well, has been sending me all of your comments. We're doing everything we can uh, to make sure that you guys are all stocked up. But we are sold out in so many places because of you. And truly, I thank you guys so, so much. And I believe that uh, I believe that it's the most exciting tequila on the market for two reasons. Uh, the first being quality. It was so important to me to deliver quality to you guys, the highest of quality, the best of taste. And what I did in my research uh, a couple of years ago, uh, I started to understand the engineering and the production of tequila from all these high-end brands that are very expensive, that are high quality too as well, many of which I love. Uh, and I wanted to understand how they made their tequila. And I took that and I applied it to our, uh, our distillery down in Jalisco, Mexico, and now that's that's what you guys taste. You guys taste the, the 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 brick oven roasting for days. By the way, not hours. Like a lot of these big companies will slow roast. We're well not even slow roast. Fast roast for hours just to turn around volume. We slow roast it in the brick ovens, copper pot stills. It is small batch tequila made by hand the way it should be. So you guys are tasting that quality. And the other thing uh, I believe why you guys have made us so successful thus far is accessibility. If Terramana Tequila is called the tequila of the people, I wanted to make sure that we lived up to the name and I wanted to make sure that everybody could afford it. That was important to me. I'm not worried about making money. Money will come down the road. The most important thing is everybody had access to Terramana Tequila, the tequila of the people. So again, I thank you guys so much. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, keep enjoying your mana, and thank you so much. I put a lot of heart and soul and mana into every bottle. So let's get this show on the road. Here we go. The uh, drink of the summer, another drink of the summer from Terramana, the Terramana Strawberry Monarita. All right, first of all, we're going to take the shaker cup. We're going to take uh, one of the main events, which is strawberry. I'm just going to get a big handful of strawberries here. Put it in. Uh, next, we want to do a dash of lime juice, just a dash. Next, we're gonna take a muddler and we're gonna mash up these berries. Let's mash them up really nicely. Uh, if you don't have a muddler at home, just find something that you can mash the berries with. Mash the berries is my nickname on weekends. When <laughs> Sorry, Ed. There's always, <laughs> there's always room for a cheesy joke. Always room for a stupid cheesy joke. All right, the muddling is complete. Next, we're gonna add the blue agave. Just a splash. Next, we're gonna add some ice. Here we go. All right. Now the fun part. Almost there. Uh, now, what I like to do, if I can ever get this off, that's what we're gonna do. There we go, finally get it off. Now what I like to do, and, it, and it's a little reverse engineering, after I shake the hell out of it, then I add the magic. So a few reasons why. I like muddling all this, shaking it up with ice, making it nice and cool and frosty. Then I add the magic. Plus also, a little bartender trick that I've shared with you guys in the past. Um, you wanna save your magic, save your Terramana for last, the addition of it, because just in case if you screw this up, the ingredients up, like I have done many times in the past, you can just throw it away and you're not wasting your mana. So 
Here we go. Time to add the magic. Brand new bottle right out of the freezer. Let's see if we can get this beautiful sound. There it is. Just a splash. A little bit more ice. One more shake. It's a quick one. All right. Now we're going to add, finally, glass of the ice. Drop the bottle. Didn't break. Durable. Like its founder. Ladies and gentlemen, the Terramana. As it comes out, nice and slow. <laughs> oh, as many jokes. The Terramana Strawberry. There you go. <laughs> Monarita. Finally, little garnish. There we go. Uh, salute my friends and I hope you guys are enjoying your summer as best you can still during all these challenging circumstances that we're all facing. Uh, so cheers to you, cheers to your families and cheers to enjoying the summer and cheers to always trying to find a little silver lining uh, during this time. Cheers my friends. That is good. And again, thank you so much for enjoying your motto.